Holly Pinkham. I'm a certified personal trainer, and I'm here to explain to you how to use the ProSource Yoga Wheel. The Yoga Wheel is a great tool that can be used to enhance your yoga practice, as well as for any general fitness routine. The Yoga Wheel is a really great tool to help assist in learning new yoga poses, to deepen stretches, and to provide a base of support for core and balance exercises. It's also really great for helping to stretch and open the back, chest, shoulders, and hips. So I'm going to show you in this video a few different exercises you can use to help stretch and open up your body, which is great for those of us who sit a lot, who are at a desk, or who work out a lot and just need help with recovery. I'll also show you some exercises you can use to help improve your core strength, your balance, and overall muscular development. So join me in this video and follow along with these poses to help improve your yoga practice and your general fitness. To get started, you're gonna begin by opening up your chest, shoulders, and back by just setting the yoga wheel in front of you and placing your palms together and stretching out with straight arms till you feel that stretch through the back of your shoulders, your upper back, your lats, and your chest. Is a great way to open up that tight upper body that's common from sitting a lot. You're gonna sit with the yoga wheel behind you and then slowly and carefully press up and begin to roll backwards and forwards very slowly so that you can feel how your body feels on the wheel. Make sure you're balanced and aligned and just stretch as far as is comfortable and just go a little bit further every time, continuing to stretch and open up your chest and increase the flexibility in your lower back and upper back. Once you've stretched out and opened up your back, we're gonna go back into the same position and just work a little bit more on the chest. This can get really tight from sitting all day, so you're just going to stop and lay back on the wheel, your neck supported, and just stretch out your arms to the side. You can also stretch them behind you and begin to let gravity just open up that chest and shoulder area. Then you're gonna use that same exercise that we did just a few ago, but this time, in order to work on a back bend, what you can do is roll back into a position where you're comfortable and then you're gonna turn your palms in towards your head and towards your body with your upper back resting on the wheel. Feet should be hip width apart, toes pointed straight ahead. From this position, you can press up through your shoulders and straighten out your elbows into a back bend. If you can't make it, that's fine. This is why the yoga wheel is helpful. You can just come right back down onto the yoga wheel. Very similar to the back bend, you're gonna extend yourself back, but this time instead of stopping, you're gonna draw your hands in around the wheel and bring your elbows in very close toward your head so that they're right along your ears. And then extend your feet out in front of you, toes pointed straight ahead. And you can continue to press yourself back, trying to bring your shoulders a little bit closer over your elbows if you have enough flexibility to do so. And then when you're ready, just carefully lower yourself back down. For plow pose, you're gonna set the wheel back behind you, arms on the floor, and then press your legs up towards the ceiling with a straight back. Once you have that, begin to slowly lower your legs down onto the wheel. So just your toes are touching and your hips and shoulders are aligned with a straight back. Hold this position as long as it's comfortable and then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, lower your back onto the mat and lower your legs last. Now we're gonna work on some core strength and balance. So you're gonna set the wheel back behind you, setting your ankles or shins on top of the wheel. Get into a standard plank position with shoulders over your wrists, body in a straight line. You can hold that position or if you'd like more of a challenge, you can extend one leg up back behind you one at a time, keeping a straight leg, straight body position to increase the challenge to your core.
Do this as many repetitions as you can or as comfortable, and then when you're ready, slowly drop your knees back down toward the floor and release the position. To take it a step further and add a bit more of a challenge, you can go back into a plank position. But this time, instead of just lifting your legs, you're gonna draw your feet in towards your body and your hips up toward the ceiling. To go a little bit further, you can also position the wheel on your shins and you're just gonna draw your body up, forming a V, and then slowly lowering it back down. Do this as a slow, controlled movement and this will really help to build your core strength. For the balance lunge, rather than a standard lunge where your back leg is on the ground, you're gonna make it a little bit harder by putting your back leg on top of the wheel so that your shin rests on it. You can either hold this position or you can begin doing this up and down movement, pressing up on that front leg, drawing your back leg in behind you and extending your arms up overhead as you lower. To take this a little bit further and make it a little bit harder, rather than extend into the full lunge position, you're gonna rest your knee and upper thigh on the wheel behind you. Your front leg will still be in that bent position like a lunge, but now you're gonna draw your back foot in toward your body and grab it with your hand. From here, lower as far as is comfortable, and this is gonna be a great stretch for your quads and for your hips as well as a great strengthening for that front leg. Extend your other arm up toward the ceiling and try and keep a straight body. Hold this as long as you can, or as long as is comfortable. The yoga wheel is great for helping to learn head stance. So what you can do is place the wheel in front of your head, wrap your hands around it, and then begin to slowly walk your feet in toward your body you can rest your shoulders back against the wheel for balance and then extend your legs up toward the ceiling. Once this is easy, try putting the yoga wheel out further in front of you so that you're not resting your shoulders against it, but instead your shoulders and elbows are completely aligned and the wheel is just there for a little bit of support. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.